welcome back. We got our beer review today. We got a very special beer review. It is Raggy Raggy's Golden Ale. Raggy, if people who don't know, Raggy is a I hate the term beer tuber, but a a person in the beer community on YouTube. And one of his local breweries teamed up with him for all his work he's done during the lockdown for supporting local breweries. And they did a beer club and they made a golden ale. And I was very kindly able to get my hands on it by um, uh, a, another YouTuber who gave me a, a super fat face. Um, who was able to get some beers and I think he got some through Northern Ireland or something. But I got my hands, he sent me one. I got my hands on one very kindly, very graciously. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let's go. If we want to, if you want to know more, more about Raggy, let's just put up a little blurb about him. Yeah, Raggy is absolutely brilliant. One of the top beer reviewers out there, and yeah, well deserved. So, let's, I suppose, let's review the, this beer. So, Golden Ale, so Golden Ale's the from my knowledge, um, I did do a few notes before this. So if you see me looking down, it's just, uh, yeah, cause I, I kept, I kept uh, forgetting super uh, fat faces. So I was going to call him by his name and I shouldn't, his name's not out there. And then Golden Ale and Blonde Ale. So Golden Ale and Blonde Ale are basically the same thing. Fair enough. And from what my from my knowledge before too that um I'm talking too much too much information um uh, there is no specific um malt or hops for a golden or blonde ale. Yeah so let's get it into the glass and another I have watched um uh, Raggies I watched Kent's I watched uh I watched a few other reviews so hopefully that's not going to put me off. Wasn't expecting to get too much on the top. It is, um, oh sorry, it's 3.8%. Yeah, so nice and light. Meant to be, okay, straight away I, I got some kind of spice. Yeah, um, and you're getting that malt, that, yeah, definitely getting that malt. Kind of getting a lagery, yeah. I'm kind of kind of getting a, a lagery malt, yeah. Getting kind of spice, um. Not getting much hops from it. Now this has been out of the fridge. I put this in a cam. Came during the week. Uh, I put it in the fridge yesterday. I took it out about two hours ago. So it is cold. So I don't usually put beers in the fridge, but since it was a golden ale, yeah, I decided to cool it down a bit. So let's let's dive in. Um. Definitely getting a kind of a, a malt and very sweet, maybe. I'd hate to say um, spice or pepper, but something I'm picking that up and then with the sweetness I'm picking up. So I'm wondering is there a kind of a, a honey malt or something? Yeah, really nice. Um, yeah, I, I'm getting the spice more now. That's that's kind of confusing me. Yeah, really refreshing, really dry in the end. So it's refreshing your your palate and you're keep drinking more. I want to sim. I want to. Um, 
kind of consume this over a little bit of time. Maybe the heat will change it. Um, so I'm going to keep this review short enough. My reviews are short enough anyhow. So it's uh, mildly carbonated, I'd say. Um, if even a little undercarbonated, maybe. But yeah, um, really nice. Really refreshing, something that you probably have a few, you could easily have a few of. There's no complex to it. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It's really nice. Um, I'm going to hate giving, I'm not going to give it a mark. I've decided before I wouldn't give it a mark out of 10. I don't do it with a lot of beers now, anyhow. So if you go to my Untapped, I will log in Untapped. Again, I will dedicate this uh, to Raggy, obviously, first, and then to Super Fat Base, who uh, sent me the beer very kindly. I will get a beer to you. If I will send you up a beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, nice. Actually, I hope I'm using my, my front camera or my back camera. I don't know what you call each other, my back camera, so I, I can't see the screen. So hopefully this is the recording well. I may actually check it to see am I <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, it looks okay. Um yeah. So um really nice. Um unfortunately I won't be able to get my hands on another um I think if you're in the UK they're still available on the website. Um I think if you email, because I think you can get in, you only can get mixed packs. I think if you email some of the salespeople and you ask if you only want Raggy's beer, you can get only Raggy's beer. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're still there. And Lincoln Green, uh, yeah, oh, I didn't mention the brewery. So it is Lincoln Green Brewery. They're lo located in Nottingham, uh, UK. This is going to be the worst review ever. Um, I'm sorry, Raggy, if you're still watching this. Cause I know he's such a... Uh, gentleman, you probably will watch the review. Um, yeah. So Lincoln Green were set up in 2012. So they're still young enough. They're nine year old. Well, I, I, what well, I call the young brewery. So they're still finding their way. Um, I'm, I'm pained to, because I call so many breweries in the UK. They're small and regional. But they're probably still a small brewery. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have much else to say. Um. I'm I'm trying to wait to see where this warm up is so you can get any Sorry about that. Um Yeah, um, hopefully using my um, other camera, this has come alright, so if I will try to get a good thumbnail, I never get a good thumbnail. Um, yeah, so the untapped um, link to Lincoln Green should be in a link to Raggy. I will put Raggy's page up, I will put a link to his review. Um, yeah, and I would say cheers to Raggy, cheers to Superfat Brace for sending me the beer. And next time, cheers.